What is strategic competition? Um, well, it's not conflict. It's below the level of conflict. That's good. Uh, hopefully we can keep it there. Uh, you know, that's a, a major um, focus is keeping strategic competition under that lid. And so it stays in the competition bucket and doesn't veer into conflict. But it's also not friendly competition. It's strategic, um, which means it's long term, it's high level, it's global. And it involves all parts of government power and influence. So you can think about diplomacy, about information and technology, about military buildup and military signaling. While that stays under the threshold of armed conflict, it's still very important. And you can think about economic power. So strategic competition is, is sort of all domain competition. And China and the US, I think, do see it very differently. Um, a big piece of the, the difference there is that China is an author authoritarian system with a highly personalized power structure. You know, power is concentrated in the person of Xi Jinping and his success is intricately tied into the success of China, um, at least as far as it concerns him and all the people who are in key points of power, right? Whereas in the United States, we have a system you know, an, an imperfect but a highly dynamic democratic system where people in power change very regularly. There is not continuity and you can't, you can't assume that certain people will be in key positions going into the future. Um, and so I think we do think about it differently here. Um, we think about it maybe more in terms of our metrics of success and maybe the strength of our system. Um, but I think China and the U.S. do share certain goals um, in terms of our shared interest in keeping strategic competition below the level of armed conflict. That's very important. We both recognize, I think, the, the absolute catastrophe that conflict between two great world powers would, would be. Um, but I think it, it really it's, a, it's at root a competition about what the world looks like now and in the future. And China and the U.S. have very different visions for what the world should look like, for constraints that should be placed upon, um, you know, powerful countries. Do we want a system in which might makes right? Um, do we want a system in which the spaces that should be the common heritage of mankind, like outer space, the moon, the high seas, are subject to, you know, the most powerful states taking what they want, imposing their will on smaller and weaker powers? Or do we want a system in which there are rules and norms and international institutions that enable all states, whatever their size, to be free and secure in their territorial boundaries, um, to make foreign policy decisions as they see fit, to pursue economic development as they see fit. So I think there really are two very different visions of what the world would look like and how it should function. Um, and that, that difference in vision, I think, is at the root of what the strategic competition is about. Um, I don't think it's zero sum. I think there is room for cooperation there, but uh, the stakes are very high.